Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about a blush palette that I got off of eBay and I was, I'm always looking on eBay to try to find some kind of steal on there and I bought a few things before off of eBay so I seen that they were having these blush palettes and um, they were coming from Hong Kong so I was worried about that but I actually got a 120 palette from Hong Kong before and everything came fine. There was one eyeshadow that was broken, but that, I mean, out of 120. Um, so I was looking at this and I ended up buying it, including shipping and everything, for $8 and like 40 cents. So even if something came and it wasn't quite great, I figured it's $8 and something. And just in case you guys want to get that, I have my iPod right here so I could get the seller. It is High Flying Star. So that's his name on there. And it's High Lowercase Dash Flying Dash Star. So $8 and something. And it took about two weeks to get here, two and a half weeks. But really, I wasn't, I, I bought it with the intention that it wasn't going to get here for a while so I wasn't disappointed about that because I already knew it's like economy shipping from Hong Kong and I had messaged this person and said what if they come broken what am I going to do and he said we can either refund you the money or we'll send you a new one so I had nothing to lose and one actually did come broken it was like this bright hot pink color so I didn't care and I took a picture and I was like, I'm going to, you know, send it to him where I can get a different one. But then I got to thinking, I mean, it's not this guy's fault. And if I don't even really care about the color, I mean, I just wouldn't want someone to do that to me, you know. So I decided not to say anything about it. So if you see, like, shadows kind of on it, I tried to clean it up the best I could. But that was the only one that was broken. If it had been one I cared about, I would have probably said something. But, I mean, it come all the way from Hong Kong. I mean, I can't expect too too much. I didn't even have insurance on the package so I figured I would just let that one go but um, I think it's great and I don't think that they're too powdery. They're not any more powdery than the other couple blushes I have um, so I thought it was a really good deal but I've never done swatches before so I swatched them on my arm so just kind of bear with me because I'm just in my bathroom and probably don't have the best lighting for this but it comes just like this and just a black little sleek packaging and I'm going to try to get really close because I was watching some uh, reviews on it and no one was getting like really close so I didn't know too too much what to expect but I'll try to get as close as I can so there we go and then we go to the bottom that's my hot pink shadow that was broken <laughs> So, there is a lot of colors in this, and I liked it because it's not just pink, where the couple blushes that I have are just pink blushes. So, I've learned that because I have kind of red cheeks, that when I add something that's pink, I'm kind of just making it look more like I have red cheeks. So, I was trying to find something more peachy, and for someone who's wanting to expand their collection like I am, this is a really good thing. And for $8, I mean, what do you have to lose? So I tried to do some swatches. I'm going to go from the top to the bottom. So here we go. There's the first one on the top left. And then my favorite one so far has been this one right here. And it's like this peachy brown color. Um, and I find that it just gives like a really golden, like bronzy look to my face. And then you have this kind of light medium pink right here. And then this bright orange, which I don't know what you would do with that. But I guess there's some people who would like it. And then more like a ready orange color. And then a really light baby pink. And a brick ready orange kind of color. And then... We have like another medium pink, make sure, a medium pink right there, and then like a brown type color right there. Hope I'm showing you the best. And then the one that broke, the hot pink color, I saved it, so I was still able to save it and put it in a pot, so I still got to keep the shadow. Hope you can see. 
Let me turn it around. That's kind of all of them lined up next to each other. Uh, if you see my scars, I got burnt by a curling iron, so it made a bad scar. <laughs> I'm stupid. There you go. So that's all the swatches. And overall, I think that this palette is worth $8.35 or whatever, $8 and some odd cents. And the seller was really nice. I mean, he communicated back fast with me. Um, so I figured I would get on here and do a review for y'all. All right, that's it. Bye.